Sutton Show. Hi. I wanted you to meet a couple of buddies of mine visiting for the first time from Sesame Street. Uh, first, I'd like you to meet Bert. Bert? It's a pleasure to have you here, Bert, and I gotta tell you how much fun I had when I visited your show. Yeah, we had we had fun having you here. Yeah. I, I tell you, really. Yeah. Yeah. I'm and, a little and scared now, like this song. I... Oh, don't be afraid. Uh, your friends are my friends. Yeah. Okay. We have the same friends. Uh, you brought somebody with you, didn't you? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Right. You can uh, see uh, him down there. I'll, I'll introduce him. Okay. Okay. You go ahead. Uh, Ernie, right? Ernie. Oh yeah, that's Ernie. Ernie. Yeah, that's Ernie. I like you to meet Ernie. Hey, Ernie. Hey. 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 Yay! Yeah. yeah. Ernie, you got a natural. Yeah. Yeah. I've always had one. Oh, yeah, me too. I got some extra machine I'll lay on you later. Oh. Yeah. Well, it's a pleasure to have you guys on the show, you know? Mm. And and I had my spot a little while ago, and I don't want to just take all the time because I know you guys are big time performers. Yeah, well, we rehearsed this. We're not that big time, but we sure are gonna. Yes, so, uh... Oh, don't worry about it. You're gonna be all right. Yeah, yeah. It's okay, Bert. Okay. Okay. You're gonna be all right. Mm. So, uh, I'm gonna get out of the way, okay. and you guys go ahead and do your tune, okay? Okay. Okay, right. okay. Bert and Ernie. Thank you. Oh, I was sitting around, feeling so blue, trying to think what to think to do. Ernie, when... I suddenly heard something new I was sitting around Trying to sleep Practicing counting While counting sheep When Good I knew I had found something new It was just a water pipe When the faucet got turned on But it brightened up my Life like a nightingale, sweet song, and now I'm happy with my pen and my can, my whistle or two. Cause now I know what I just gotta do. We go, yeah. And the sky is all sunny and blue. I bet it'll do it for you. Say, say, that's going great. Yeah. Oh. You know, can I join? Oh, sure. I like to be in Ernie, on you. Tell him how. Yeah, okay, well, uh, why don't you do the whistle part? Okay, you know? okay. And I'll see. Whistle down there. Okay. Hit it, okay. George! Okay, here we go. <clears throat> and now I'm happy with my pen and my can, my whistle or two. Now I know what I just gotta do. I go. <laughs> Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. You know, as much as I enjoy it here, I still cannot get used to playing these kind of theaters in the round, you know? And the first couple of days of rehearsal, we had audiences. And I was so nervous, I, I was doing my jokes like this. I was walking down, talking like this. One. <laughs> I was running all around like this. So finally, I got so dizzy. You know, it was awful. It was still cheaper than a martini. <laughs> you know, this is a smart audience. You'd be surprised how many times I tell that joke and it never gets a laugh. <laughs> I'm stubborn. When I like a joke, I tell it. I don't... <laughs> anyway, I can't tell you how happy I am to be doing this show with Flip. And I get such a kick out of those cute little sayings of his, like, what you see is what you get, <laughs> you know? And then he goes, yep. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. <laughs> then he has another expression where he says, too much, too much, you know? Matter of fact, that's how our first 
conversation went. He asked me to do the show. I told him what my price was, and he said, <laughs> I knew I wouldn't have to go any further with that one. I'm, I'm only kidding, though. Lucifer made me say that. <laughs> Mr. Benny, it's me, Rochester. Who is it, isn't it? Yeah. You sure fooled me. I thought it was Dennis Day. <laughs> oh, it's a heavy deck. You're dropping them bombs tonight, huh? Huh? Yeah. You know, Jack, gotta tell you. Mary that. Livingston would have been funnier, wouldn't it? <laughs> oh, Ooh. let's go. <laughs> Now he doesn't know what to say. Well, anyway, go ahead. Say something. Okay, I don't have any problem saying it, Jack, because when you're talking from the heart, you don't have to try to remember what you want to say. Mm -hmm. I was going to say that you've always been one of my idols, and it's, it's an honor having you here on the show. Well, thank you very much. You know who else thinks you're the greatest? Pearl Bailey. Really? Mm hmm Well, I'm very proud of that, too, because I think she's a great talent. Yeah. She really you know, you know she's been wanting to rap with you all week? She wants to what? <laughs> rap. She hits? <laughs> rap. Rap. Like when, like when two cats talk the same language. Oh. Well, I'm not a cat. I'm not with it. You know what I mean? What do you mean you're not with it? You, what's happening? You're out of sight. You're a gas. <laughs> saying the most, to say the least, and that's saying a lot. <laughs> say it all. Come on out here and rap with Jack. Oh, you a Jack Benny. Yeah. Oh, baby. You where's that? Oh, honey, I, I dig you. I dig you, man, consecutively. I'm telling you, you really, well, I'm sorry, you got, you, you, you really put it together. Some of it's glued, but it's together. <laughs> I mean, baby, you are saying something. How you doing, baby? <laughs> I'm glued? Oh, yeah, I know, I know. I'm a groove, I'm, I'm a groove. That's yeah, why I'm a yeah, group. Yeah. I'm out of sight. Yes. And it gives me gas. No. <laughs> no, no hey. man. Am I hip? Oh, are you hip? You got it together. <laughs> what what'd she say? Well, well, Jack, see, uh, uh, let's put it in this type of vernacular, which is very easy to understand. What she said was, you stride the field of comedy like a giant, and there isn't a true devotee of humor who hasn't been moved to laughter by your wit and style your affectionate amusement with the world and its ever-present foibles. See? That's what I said. Right on! <laughs>